Hello and welcome back to Bunex Investment Group. And in this video, we are going to talk about a simple and yet profitable swing trading strategy. It only needs you to look at only three parameters to align in order to get an entry. Therefore, it is categorized under simple trading methodologies. But before we jump into the whole video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check the notification bell icon so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Please check out our free Telegram channel where we share free signals, trading advice, as well as support. The link is right in the description below. So here is what we'll go through. We'll talk about one, the strategy, then the time frame where to use the strategy, then the strategy definition, as well as the trade parameters, and last but not least, the real chart illustration. So make sure you watch till the end for this to work for you. Here's the strategy. So this strategy is a swing trading methodology. And before we go any further, let's define what swing trading is. So basically swing trading involves taking trades that last a couple of days up to several months in order to profit from an anticipated price move. But we are not so much into months, we are only into two to three days. Uh, that's our limit for this strategy. So this strategy looks at finding trading opportunities that will last for more than two days. So here's the time frame to look at. Since the strategy is under swing model, we'll be interested in finding opportunities on higher time frame. And the best time frame to trade this is the H1 time frame. So here's the definition. We are basically running through all these slides so that we will spend much of the time on real chat uh, explanation and examples. So there are only three parameters to this and you are going to need three moving averages, which are 13, 50, and 200. So the first thing that you have to do is to wait for 50, 200 crossover on the H1 time frame. This basically states that the cycle for that flow is locked. Then watch price give a flow of two to three days, fanning out and clearly pull back to the 200 EMA. What we mean is after the crossover of 5200, we need to see fan out of these EMAs. By fanning out, we mean widening of the gap between the two of them. And uh, this happening in two to three days after the crossover. Then make an entry after double touch of uh, of the price to the 200 EMA. In this case, the 50 and the 200 will fan out like this. And after two to three days, we need to see the price coming back to the 200 EMA and making a double touch in this scenario. This is the case for an uptrend and the, the case for a downtrend. We need to see a double touch of price on the 200 EMA. So here are the trade parameters and uh, to get an entry after double touch, we need to wait for any nameable candlestick reversal pattern on the anticipated second touch. So by nameable candlestick pattern, we mean those engulfing uh, bullish bearish engulfing patterns, uh, hammers, uh, pin bars and several. There are a lot of them, any nameable candlestick Part, uh, reversal pattern on the anticipated second touch. Then the stop loss must be below or above structure and the take profit must be three times the pips on the stop loss. So by below or above structure, we mean that we have been issued the first leg or the first touch, then the second touch has been issued. Our stop loss must be below this wall structure, we are looking at uh, 10 to 15 pips below the lowest value of, uh, 
of this structure. So this comes after you have made the lot size calculations. Uh, this basically means that uh, the stop loss levels are going to be variable from trade to trade. Therefore, you need to calculate your stop loss for each and every trade you are going to take so as to be consistent in the amount you are risking on each and every trade. Your stop losses should be the same throughout your trading statement. So let's go over the charts and uh, have the examples. So our first example is going to come from GBP against USD. As you can see, this is the, the H1 time frame. The first thing that we have mentioned in the slides is to wait for 5200 crossover. In my case, my 50 EMA is in blue and my 200 is in white. And uh, here we had a perfect crossover. Then after that, we need to see the 50 and the 200 fanning out that is running away from each other. And this actually happened. After that, we saw the price coming back. It attempted to come back to 200 EMA at this point, but failed to touch uh, the EMA. Then here it gave us the anticipated uh, setup that we were looking for, whereby we had the first touch and the second touch. And uh, our stop loss was going to be below structure and our take, our, our, our take profit, our, sorry, our trade, was going to be something somewhere in this zone and our take profit was going to be three times the number of pips in between here which was something like this and our trade was fine then uh, let's have another example on gold right we can see that at this point we had the crossovers we had the first crossover that did not I had to take such an example because uh, someone was going to ask uh, if this will be valid. This is not valid. Why? Because we haven't seen the fanning out of the moving averages. However, at this one, we had a crossover and the fan out actually happened. As you can see, the moving average averages fanned out. After fanning out, we had the setup which is the double touch on um, on the 200 EMA and our trade was going to be at this point and our stop loss was going to be below structure um, and our take profit is three times the size of our of our stop loss and uh, there it was then uh, let's have another one on uh, GBP CHF um i had to take this one as well because uh we uh this actually satisfied our condition of uh two to three days of um flow after the crossover we had the crossover here after that crossover we had the first day and the second day and on the third day we had a beautiful double touch one two and the stop loss above the structure and uh, the market makers actually attempted to to take out traders uh, who had stop loss in this region on this third touch and the market moved beautifully in our anticipated direction then another example on euro against chf we had a crossover here on h1 after that crossover a fan out of the 250 and the price came back to 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 the 200 However, in this case, it did not touch exactly on the 200 EMA, but it gave us the structure that we are looking for, which was a, a beautiful multi session M in this case. And our stop loss was going to be above structure. The highest point of the structure was this first leg. Therefore, we need to have our stop loss at this zone. Then our entry was going to be somewhere in this point and our three uh, multiplied by the risk was going to to be met then the last example is from uh, odd against chf where we had we had um, a, a 5200 crossover here after that 5200 crossover 
the market uh, came back to the 200 and gave us a double touch and uh, all the parameters that we have been talking about were met so this is not a strategy that you can only rely on it's something that you can add um, on top of your systems so that uh, you have several uh, types of trades to take within your systems so on that note we come to the end of this video thank you for watching and don't forget to check out our free telegram channel the link is right below.